Dane Jackson to kick it away and off we go from Bloomington in the final non-conference game for the Hoosiers. And that goes tumbling through the side of the end zone for a touchback. Now this is one of the things they want to see from him tonight is how he manages the line of scrimmage. One of the corrections from last week's tape. And on his first snap of the night, a handoff to Lucas and C.J. Nunnally at the end spot there to stick him after a short game for the Hoosiers. So on the second play, that is stacked up, and Antavius Fish. You can see what Indiana does here on offense. They line up in a formation, then check the play on the sideline. Jackson on third down gets away from pressure extending the play and he runs out of bounds. So James Evans out to punt after three and out for Indiana with Bobby Golden back deep to receive for Akron. And that punt will not give the very fast Golden a chance to make a big play in special teams taking a Hoosier roll. He needs to get it out get it out of his hands and let his playmakers go to work. Four down front for Indiana to begin. And Irons is involved right away. Goes back shoulder. And that's hauled in by Alex Adams. And Adams and they used to play at LSU. One of several Power Five guys that transferred into Akron. DJ Irons with his legs out across the 50 yard line. Irons can do it all at the quarterback position. And Adam, he just took that first hit of the night. That's what he loves. He loves early contact. He's one of those guys that gets into the game early that way. And a flag comes out before first and ten. Full start. Offense. Number 54. Five yard penalty. First down. Former Penn State offensive coordinator. He won two games against the Hoosiers when he was at Penn State. Uh, underneath, irons complete. So back to back balls complete to start his night. Biggest question mark for Akron. How well can they protect DJ Irons tonight? And dumps it out underneath. Lingard through the tackle and he barrels across the 40 yard line. That was originally stopped for a loss. Phil Dunham had him at the ankles. Spread the defense out. And Drake Anderson the motion man and it is quarterback run and he spins off a hit. And this drive moving forward inside the 35 yard line. Uh, quarterback. And it did warm up but will not play. The DJ Irons taking a shot out of the timeout to the end zone and it bubbled and drops. Josiah Gaithings battling with Kobe Miner and the IU quarterback cornerback Miner with the breakup. The eye work the eye discipline for Matt Perry the defensive coordinator for Indiana. A quick hit out to the perimeter. This is where a lot of this drive has come out of the edges is Bobby Golden third down already and they have three first downs on this drive. Irons over the middle intercepted. Indiana with a takeaway it's done about the middle. He has his third interception of the year in safety for the Hoosiers. The flag After the down. play was over on sportsmanlike conduct. Indiana number 44. Boy, the leading tackler and hardest hitter on this Akron defense. Taven Jackson deep downfield, diving connection. Jackson funnels it in to Camp Camper. So after the big hitter, and Jackson back to the ground game, and Lucas reversing field. And Indiana's fastest guy does make something out of that before McCoy drags him down. He comes out on second and nine. Christian Turner into the backfield. And Jackson with a quick set and off target. Trying to feed it into the flat. We saw how big that arm is on that deep ball to start this drive from Camper. Impressive. He's got all the talent you want. Started at Tennessee, transferred to Indiana, was a big time recruit out of high school. Everyone in the nation wanted this guy, and now he's coming into his own. We're seeing some glimpses of how good he can really become. 
After the incompletion, a third down and nine for Jackson. And a wide open receiver, and it's dropped. As he sat down, still seeing on his face how frustrated he was. That was probably gone for six. And the punts is not down. It's a touchback. Every time DJ Irons goes up the line of scrimmage, he's going to wonder where number one is. Irons got free, but that ball is knocked down. It was edge pressure. And his face. Right in the face mask. Right in the face mask. That, that, that's why you jump, man. DJ Irons fake to the flat and using the legs again to tumble forward for another first down in the quarterback run game. DJ, DJ Irons running the football. He's, he's going to take a lot of hits today. We saw on that fake Jacob Magnum Farrar flying out on that fake. He ended up running him down deep down the field. Here's Irons out of the pocket again and past the sticks on back to back plays for a first down. Play was over on sportsman like conduct. Offense, number 88, 15 yard penalty from the dead ball spot. It'll be first and 10 after. We'll shove after, and Newell comes out of the game after the penalty. Was a dead ball foul, so it is first down and 10. Irons fakes the pitch over the middle, and he has a connection. Alex Adams, one of your impact players for Akron with the first down. It's Alex Adams. I have a feeling we'll be saying a whole lot. Now those two connected for over 800 yards and nine touchdowns last year. Adams third in the back and receiving touchdowns a year ago. So second straight drive that's moving for the Zips. And Andre Carter couldn't finish off the play. Irons is pelted down after that by Linnell Carr. I told you on that first drive, he likes to feel contact, even though he's a guy coming off two shoulder surgeries in the offseason. Wants to get hit, man. Warm him up. Billy Fester, offensive coordinator, told us, Irons said, I want to get hit as soon as possible in this game and take a big hit. Irons keeps off the pole. And he's clipped down with a flag out. Kobe Miner in making the stop, but a flag right where that tackle happened. Flag on the field. Another design quarterback Holding. run. Offense, number one. Ten yard penalty from the previous spot. Second out. The ball was moving across midfield, but now backed up in their own territory again. And Irons dumps it down for Anderson, who swung down. An open field tackle. A bunch of linebackers and defensive linemen off the wall stand up at the line of scrimmage, and it causes a lot of confusion for the quarterback. Here it is right here. He has six up at the line of scrimmage. Four come on the rush. And Irons out of the tackle. And he's shoved out after the original contact. Noah Pierre was coming off of the edge. Noah is back So the penalty strike stalls the drive for Akron. And a fair catch. He has three so far. And their defense can't give up explosive Can't plays, start. which they gave up last week to Louisville. Number 67. Five yard penalty. First down. First and 15. A creative touch for Jalen Lucas. Into open space. Out of the tackle. And then he spins ahead near a first down. It's a coordinator saying, How many touches are enough? <laughs> Hard for me to say. None are enough. As that's out quickly for Jackson to Donovan McCulley. And the chains move to the passing game with Jackson. And starting safety, Nate Thompson for Akron was injured before the timeout. He got up, walked to the sideline while we were away. The Indiana ball, Taven Jackson with some pressure down the seam and it's broken up. KJ Martin playing in trail position. Well, Martin's a captain. They give him number one for Akron as an honorary spot for being the best leader on the defense. Into the run game, Jackson handing off with Christian Turner. And it'll be third down. Adam. In college football nowadays. Jackson empties it out, throws underneath, complete to Bradley Archer, and the tight end has a drive extending first down to the flag out right at the end. DJ Nunley. Personal foul. Face mask. Number 91, defense. 
15-yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic first down. 15 yards more for the tight end. C.J. Nunnally in pursuit. Flea flicker and incomplete. Just to clean up that part of his game. So after that throw that was a little bit too high, Jalen Lucas makes it third down and medium, picking up five. Throughout this season. And the third down, quarterback run game. Jackson with a pitch for Lucas. Here's on the sideline. And it's a fourth down and two for the Indiana offense. And off a of play action. Rolling out, and that ball's drops. Does have to confront the mistakes. His teammates will respect it. Yeah, Danny, thank you. It was a drive that had some promise there for Taven Jackson in the offense. And a fourth down. I know that was a sticking point for Indiana in practice prep this week after they were inches shy of overtime against Louisville. Jalen Lucas's hands there. They did it. And it cost them. Uh, irons underneath to gate things and couldn't get very far on the screen. The Lingard coming into the backfield on third down for Akron. Irons drills it in there over the middle. Uh, Dante Jackson running for the zips. Jalen Lucas calls for a fair catch at the 19 yard line. <laughs> That was a one and done situation when Cam Cameron was the head coach for the Hoosiers. There's Christian Turner on the first play of this drive and out to the edge of the first down. I think the black jerseys are pretty cool. I'm a fan. Taven Jackson has his man Camper and he drops it in again. Second time tonight that Camper has. It was Talon Deer on the edge that Camper beat again. And Jackson hit him for 40 yards earlier. He has another first down into plus territory in the second quarter. And Jackson on the target again, and that's hauled in by Trey Walker for a first down. You did give me a little look at that after that play, like, oh, yeah. I'm smiling, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> first and goal for Jackson. And not getting very far. Didn't get a yard. Uh, Trey Walker, a bigger part of the game plan prep this week for Indiana because James Bomba, now this is a huge moment for this Indiana offense. They've struggled to punch the ball into the, the end zone when they're in the red zone. Watch Taven Jackson here getting up. Throws a little elbow, some talking back and forth. with a little shaky getting up. After the skirmish, Jackson stretching to the edge. And he's run down. Nate Thompson, who was injured on the field earlier, back in the game. And he sticks Jackson to make a third and goal. That's to the outside, it's Turner, and he's got the edge for a touchdown. Christian Turner with his second touchdown of the year. Indiana has vowed to get him going. And that's back-to-back -back home games with a touchdown. For the transfer from Wake Forest for the Indiana Hoosiers. First score of the Knights. That rolls through the back for a touchback. Offense playing pretty well. 100 some yards of offense so far. Has to put a drive together and get some momentum back on their side. DJ Irons pitches for Drake Anderson and a flag. But tight end number five. Oh, offense number five. Ten yard penalty from the previous spot. Still first down. It's been a five penalty, 55 yard first half. For Joe Moore had an Akron and another flag is out. Full start, offense, number 76. Five-yard penalty, still first down. In motion, and another costly penalty. Iron shovels it, but Indiana's all over it. And Anderson does finish forward. Too low conversion percentage, and he can't turn the football over here for DJ Irons. Fake to Anderson, and down the sideline, a twisting catch by Adams, but on the stripe and out of bounds. Down along, we either run a draw or you go with your best matchup here. Play action, 
See if they can find their best matchup. Instead, an interception. Indiana with their second takeaway of the game. And an escort out in front. And inside the five-yard line is where that return ends for Lewis Moore. Both starting safeties for Indiana with a pick in this game. It was Dunham in the first quarter. It's Moore setting up first and goal now. Jackson pitches and Turner shoved out. At the top of your screen. And he's in the bunch. It's a run play for Turner and he's six down to the two yard line. Well, McCauley, a former high school quarterback, is at wideout. And he has a lead block of Turner and they do get creative but don't convert. So trying to get away from some of that staleness you were talking about. Tom Allen says there's no way we're pulling our offense off the field. And they're going to put Taven Jackson out wide and keep the same formation with Donovan McCulley playing Wildcat quarterback. Look for the pass here. And he keeps it again, driving the legs. He's close to the end zone. And it'll depend on the call from the linesman. And he is marched short. It's Akron football. Ruling on the field is a runner was short of the goal line. First and ten, Akron. Indiana ran the same play, back-to-back -back plays, running McCulley up the middle. Would have loved to see some more creativity, maybe throwing the ball out of that formation. And the irons deep in his own end zone, over the middle, and that is drops. Does a great job using shift and motion like we're seeing right now to confuse the defense. After the deep passing play, they break through into the second level in the run game with Lorenzo Lingard and a first down and space after they were backed up at their own end zone. They play with a chip. Joe Moorhead said every day at practice, he's got a chip on his shoulder. Uh, irons out the back door and he's run down by Kobe Biden. Show the other guys. This is how it's done at the Power Five level. On second and ten, that is dropped a little bit behind on the throw from DJ Irons to Daniel George, who is cutting near the sticks. So two balls that Irons on this drive has put on receivers' hands. And now the blackout crowd for Indiana up on their feet late in the first half. And Adams out in space through one tackle, but not the second, and a flag comes out. Personal foul, late hit out of bounds, number 41, Indiana. Unsportsmanlike conduct, Akron, number 60. Unsportsmanlike conduct, assistant coaches entering the opponent's bench. Those penalties will offset. The down counts, fourth down. Red in the face, smoke coming out of his ears. And instead of the late hit bringing up a first down for Akron, they have to punt it. And it skips past Jalen Lucas and out of bounds. With Adam Brenneman, Connor Onion, Danny Rogers on the sidelines. The Indiana ball before the half, and that's intercepted. Jackson throws it to the zips. It's the linebacker, Ben, jumping in front of it. Turnover tire. Creativity, man. So DJ Irons back at quarterback after the takeaway, and he's wrestled down by Casey. Uh, yeah, should we use a tire? Should we use a belt? The brainstorming session. Good, Goodyear plant in Akron. <laughs> Here's Irons, and out to the edge. Five minutes until halftime. Irons fakes to the flat and seeking out space on the edge, but he's not going to get there. And Casey in on another play, and they struggle to run the football. The best way to counter it for your offense is run the quarterback. You get an extra hat in the run game with the running back blocking in front. Good job by Joe Moorhead here. Gay things in motion. Irons didn't like it that way. Still doesn't like it, and he has to take off with Mangum Farrar right at his ankles. But Akron with growing belief as an underdog on the road. And they get points before the half. Irons end zone. Leaping drive by Gay things. But out of the back of the end zone, incomplete. And Dante Jackson from straight on for Akron. And just before the half, he pumps it through. The stadium a few weeks ago. A 
Returnable kick for Jalen Lucas, the Big Ten returner of the year last year. Out across the 35. What you can't do is you can't go backwards and you can't have penalties in this situation. Akron showing some pressure, and Lucas running right up the middle across the 45. Game at Penn State with Iowa. Dave, Jay, and James will have the halftime report for you next. And then McCauley underneath moves this drive forward with a first down. And plus territory on first down. Jackson overshoots it. They're looking for Cam Perry. And about 10 yards out in front of him. Working with 106 on the clock. Off the play fake. Jackson throws to the sideline. And we'll see if a flag comes out for grounding. The officials will conference. Cooper gets pressure in the backfield. Intentional grounding. Pass never made it to the line of scrimmage. Lost it down at the spot of the foul. Third down. Uh, no 10 second runoff still outside a minute and Jackson again rolling out and throwing it away so it puts your team in a really bad position uh, Bobby Golden the return man for Akron and a fair catch outside the 20 and a 25 yard field goal for Dante Jackson the last time Akron touched it DJ Irons at quarterback for the Zips avoided pressure and underneath to his tight ends and Jake Newell oh. Akron got their first first down going fast. Where is Alex Adams now on the field number seven? He needs the football and Adam where's the snap? I mean so many mistakes on both sides of the ball. You just get a first down for Akron. You're moving Two minute drives looking good I'll start offense number 76 Akron has chosen to use a timeout to avoid the 10 second runoff. That's their second charge timeout of the half. Trying to get his guys back to the line of scrimmage. Need a big chunk here, big chunk play. And Irons looking for that chunk and throws it out of bounds. Holding offense. Number 74, 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Second down. For Joe Moorhead and his team, the penalties are killing both sides of the ball. That's the end of the uh, first half. Indiana. Someone's got to go win this football game and make big plays. Well, off we go in the second half from Bloomington with Akron getting the second half kickoff. It's Hester up to the 25 yard line and Moves ahead of the 27 yard line. Irons has to play clean football now and take care of the ball. Uh, Irons for his drop back of the second half and a contested catch for his tight ends. We are going to give IU hell here. Uh, Danny, thank you. And they have a first down with Daniel George. Uh, uh, they were inches away from a toe tapping game time touchdown with Gaithings and a long throw. Out to the field side for DJ Irons, and that's complete. Because they can throw a football at all. At all. Shoulder surgery on both shoulders this offseason. Didn't practice one time in the spring. And that arm keeps getting better and better each week. He's farther away from surgery. On a second down give, it's Lingard submarining ahead near a first down. Lingard the back next to Irons. And it's the big bruiser, Lingard. With enough nose in the head to midfield for the first down. And now Akron at midfield with a first down. This is where Joe Moorhead likes to take shots down the field. Be alert for a big play shot. Irons underneath. Lingard and Megan Farrar runs him down. He added five to ten pounds in the offseason. Preparing for the physicality of the Big Ten. He looks the play. That's what you want him to look like. If you can draw it up, that's what you want your linebacker looking like. For a loss, gay things can't reach out and grab it. The coverage from Noah Pierre, but a flag is down. That's right at the feet of the quarterback. Irons had gay things one on one, liked his matchup from the very beginning, knew he was going there.
Holding, offense, number 76. Penalty is declined, third down. With Andre Carter rushing the passer. Third down and 11. Irons takes another shot and completes it downfield. He had a ton of Hoosiers in his face, and Bobby Golden reels it in with a flag down at Irons' feet one more time. That was a gutsy throw by DJ Irons. Takes a big hit. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Contact to the helmet, 15-yard penalty, added to the end of the run. Automatic first down. And a big underdog on the road looking for a lead on their first drive of the second half. Alex Adams. Irons keeps. Irons a clear path to the end zone. And Akron has their first lead of the night on the road in a Big Ten stadium. And how many times Taven Jackson have to respond? And an onside kick for Akron. Akron after the touchdown comes up with the onside kick recovery. And build momentum. Jim Moorhead is building momentum as best he can right now. Irons, and that is incomplete. How do your best players, how do Andre Carter and Lenel Carr, how do these guys respond in moments like this? They need to step up and make plays. Irons given time, and he fits it into his tight end, Newell. And Lenel Carr stripping at the ball, but forward progress stop. And some movement. Carter flinched early on the line, and Gaithings coming back to the ball, reels that in. Offside, defense, number one. That penalty's declined. The completed catch is good after the play. Unsportsmanlike conduct, number 14, Akron. 15-yard penalty from the dead ball spot. They'll be first and 10, Akron. With the dead ball penalty, still a first down. And irons to the flat, and that's complete to George for a short gain in front of Sharp. He had that rushing touchdown in the last drive and is quick back to work after the onside kick got in the ball back. Irons field side into the turf. All right, so second half last week, Indiana. Here they come. Anderson running away from it, and he's chased down. The play goes for no gain. Getting around the line, the offensive line. Now big fourth down comes up. Akron's leaving the offense on the field. In these moments, where are your best players at? Alex Adams is in the slot, the best receiver on this Akron offense. You like this call to go for it? I think you have to. And the play clock winding down. Timeout. Yeah, timeout. Akron. Seven against the Big Ten. We're going into Big Ten and Mac play next week in full. The Irons on fourth down and seven, and nobody's home. And instead of the interception, Indiana just lets that fall down, and it's a turnover on downs. Looks like there's a, a flag, flag though. I think this might be a late hit and give Holding. Akron a first down. Offense nope. number 76. That penalty's declined. First down, Indiana. The defense ball is this is the first time we see him on the field in the second half. Touchdown for Akron, an onside kick. And Jackson incomplete. And he's hit Camper on down three points with their first possession on offense in the second half. And up the middle, and McCoy is there to make the play. Here comes the blitz. Akron is manned up all across the board. Cover zero. Go to your best player in this situation. And a couple of guys drop out. Jackson rolling. And downfield. A leaping catch almost made. The receiver had two steps on him. Would have been an explosive play. And brought Indiana right back into this game and given them the, the momentum they're missing right now. Bobby Golden. And not getting out of the ankle tackle. Hoosier fans were all about it, <laughs> making that walk today. Well, new quarterback, DJ Irons, has been the quarterback 
poor act in this entire game, but Jeff Undercuffler, in their second game against Morgan State, uh, threw the ball around quite a bit. Undercuffler in there to pass, and that's intercepted off of the tip ball. Behind his receiver, and Lewis Moore breaks to the outside, seeking a pick six, and he's home for a defensive touchdown. Disappointed, deep thought for Joe Moorhead, the head coach for Akron. After his quarterback goes out, under Cuffler comes in, and Lewis Moore, and Indiana by four with Akron, set to get it back. Here's Hester, and he's stuck shy of the 20-yard line. WWE belt, but he's a two-time, two-time champ tonight with the WWE takeaway belt. And Anderson. And Anderson has a first down. Turned into Lewis Moore's game and his game for a touchdown and a pick six. Under Cuffler, his first throw since the pick and out in front of T.J. Banks. If he comes back in this game, it, it's a gutsy performance by the quarterback. That's Under Cuffler's offense right now, and a long throw out to the perimeter has gay things and fighting through tackles. And the play clock was melted down at zero in that snap happened, and Akron takes a timeout. Timeout, Akron. Second charge time out of the half. Right, Akron on the move, trailing by four. Pass interference. Defense number zero. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first out. Well, Lewis Moore just returned an interception for a touchdown for Indiana to put the Hoosiers back in the lead. Now Akron on the move across midfield. And it's under Cuffler, who's been an accurate passer this year. Uh, underneath and knocked down. Indiana got a turnover on downs in this down and distance. And at third and seven, then got a fourth and seven stop earlier in this quarter. And this time it's under Cuffler at quarterback. And Anderson to the outside, but can't get free of Moore. Down in this part of the field earlier in the quarter. Here comes the blitz. Indiana brings five. Carter in on under Cuffler, and down he goes. These first four games, he has absolutely tore it up in the backfield for the Hoosiers. So the offense back on the field for Indiana, and Jalen Lucas cannot get free. Top playmaker, in both the run game and a guy heavily involved in the pass game off the field. And after Akron and Antavius Fish got him for a loss of seven. And Christian Turner back to the original line of scrimmage. Steven Jackson looks for guys, his best players. Cam Camper out wide, top of your screen, his best receiver. Running the option with Turner, and McCoy blows out to stick that shy midfield. score underdog in this game and have led at one point in the second half and the punt for James Evans they're still at quarterback after DJ Irons was seen going back to the locker room for the zips under Cuffler little high but the adjustment made and Golden who just had that catch in the motion of the top side and there's the run you were calling for back to their lead back Lingard Third and short. But we're seeing Bullock in at quarterback for Akron. They love to run the football with him, too. He converted on a third down in the first half. He throws it, and it's off target to Lingard. Ferrar using those big, long arms, the 6 4 wingspan to knock that football down. A high punt that Jalen Lucas does not call a fair catch on. And a big hit for Akron on special teams. How'd I do? Per, per, pretty, you'll, you'll find <laughs> out. You'll find out. T-Mobile's going to make us wait. All right, Taven Jackson in the offense back on the field for Indiana. 
Jackson pulls it out and bangs in the slant, but it's dropped by DeKeese Carter. It's off his shoulder pad and falls to the ground. So after the drop, second down and 10 for Indiana looking for a separating drive to go up by two scores against the zip. So they haven't been able to shake yet. And McCoy brings down the running back Lucas with help from Teray Jones. Offense, man. And you are 0 for 1. Two out of three is not bad. Though. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's well, pass failure. You can there. win with that rate right there. And Jackson on third down complete. And he has his tight end, Trey Walker, again. And McCoy, who made that tackle, is down for the zips. Brian McCoy, star linebacker for this Akron defense. Back to Indiana after this. And he gets the ball back here in a few. Indiana on first down, busting into the second level in the run game. Those inside zone plays are all about patience and reading your offensive line and figuring out where the leverage is. Turner does a great job of that between the tackles. So right on the edge of field goal range. Indiana at minimum could potentially go up a full touchdown. And over the middle incomplete on that in-breaking route for Omar Cooper. And that was a good connection a couple weeks ago right here at home for Indiana. Omar Cooper at wide receiver was the breakout star of their week two win against Indiana State. And Jackson pulls it out. He hits his man to Keith Carter who makes a move upfield. And a first down and goal coming up for the Hoosiers. Doing it at a big stage now at Indiana. And Turner bullying his way inside the five. Good line. They need to find a way to punch this ball in on the goal line. Turner did it in the first half. Turner here is slammed down by McCoy. Joe Moorhead was telling us this week that the only thing holding Brian McCoy back from playing in the Big Ten is heights. He brings up the third down with that big thump. Now Jackson under center with the quarterback sneak and no penetration on up front on offense. All the penetration defensively. And another fourth down and goal situation coming. So short field goal try instead of six points for Freeman. And Indiana, in these fourth and goal situations continuing to struggle. Kick goes deep. Esther a chance to return it. Esther reverses out across the 20. During the return, legal block in the back, number 88, receiving team, half the distance to the goal, first and 10. And Irons coming back out with under eight minutes to go, and his team needing a touchdown to get even. His first snap since taking that shot, a little bit high, but Anderson adjusts, and he's out to the 13 yard line. And Mangum Farrar coming on pressure, and Irons away quickly. But the tackle made short of the line to gain. It's Todd Bullock at quarterback for Akron. The short down running quarterback is not getting there. As an offensive lineman, he made the change over and now is a starting defensive tackle in the Big Ten. So with DJ Irons back on the field for Akron, Indiana's defense, it is a one possession game. With Indiana's offense on the field, inside six minutes to go, and a handoff on first down. Well, a statement, especially, to be made for Indiana after what you were talking about with them getting stops and settling to keep this a one-score game on the field goal last drive. Uh, Turner hopping through there. And it'll be third down and medium with KJ Martin on the stick. You go five, four, uh, four wide, letting that play clock dip inside 10 seconds. Jackson is going to throw, and he's going to throw downfield, and it's incomplete. And the punt 
failures, not turning the football over, and giving confidence to your entire team. Irons, quick pop, complete to Golden. And he picks up nine yards on first down. They beat Syracuse. And trying to have a big memory tonight. And this breaks for a big play. Lorenzo Lingard into open space. And he tucks home. With a chip on his shoulder, says, I belong on the big stage, and I can do it against a Power 5 team. Big Ten West. And we're in Indianapolis at the end of the year. Jalen Lucas slow playing this, running out of trouble, and he can't escape. Well, what element of shell shock might there be after what Akron just did on the 77 yard hit for Lingard? And Lucas into a herd of tacklers with Lavia leading the way. Jackson pulls it, pumps on it, and he gets sacked. They've been in a really hard spot a lot of times tonight. They're in a third down and 17, and Jalen Lucas cannot get to the chains. Uh, Indiana and Akron tied at 17. Coming up after the game, the Big Ten Live football post game presented by State Farm breaks down all the action. Bobby Golden, the return man, and Evans punts is stopped up at the 40 yard line. Use great clock management and get your team up to the ball fast. No timeouts for Irons in the Akron offense. And he does take off. Nobody in the picture for Indiana and he can run for a long way into field goal range and out of bounds. There. Irons looks left runs out again and he's tripped up. Now this was but he knew that he was tough. That was one of the first impressions. And Lingard squats down with a first down. And go into Big Ten stadiums and win a lot over the years. And a last chance tonight in non-conference. Akron's right at the doorstep. So it's second down. Let the clock go down to a few seconds to kick a field goal and try to win it. And Irons falls down center of the field. And Indiana cannot stop the clock here. And he spikes it with five seconds on the clock. Akron looking for a signature win on the road at Indiana. Jackson puts it up and dead center. He did not hit it. No good for Jackson. Indiana's won four consecutive overtime games. It'll be Akron on the field first on offense from the 25 yard line. Uh, Lingard, who had the game tying score that was the end of regulation. Missed field goal, got us to overtime with a chance to win it for the Zips. Quick feet for Irons, and on the move again for a first down. Maneuvering, and Akron's going fast. And Lingard off the edge. Casey stops him shy of the five yard line. Checking the play to the sideline, seeing what the defense is in so Joe, Joe Moorhead can get his best offensive call in in this big moment. They can gain a first down at the one yard line. Lingard got free of the original surge and then he's done. The first possession of overtime. Irons running away from pressure around Carter. Irons cuts back. DJ Balls his way into the end zone. Stop. Dante Jackson back onto the field. And Lucas is in the backfield to start this first overtime for Indiana on offense. It is Lucas stretching out to the edge, and McCoy is there to greet him again. And Lucas in the backfield again after his first down carry. Lucas is in the route, instead going underneath McCauley. And he drives the pile forward inside the 15 for a first down. Restart next weekend at Maryland. In survival mode, in overtime. Jackson on the move to the end zone, and that is hauled in! A contested catch for Camper! My goodness! At the PAT, 
NIT playing for the tie. And we will have a second overtime. He just threw a touchdown to Camp Camper. And Jackson throwing end zone and juggled and drops. KJ Martin playing over the top. Akron brings five up to the line of scrimmage. It's Turner. You're going to see the linebackers walk up here and give a, the illusion of pressure to Taven Jackson. And they do bring pressure. Jackson runs away from it and That's incomplete. We welcome a new audience as Indiana tries to go ahead in a second overtime against Akron. And Freeman puts it through. Now he needs to take this game over. Irons over 100 yards rushing. Cannot get away from Casey. Full range, but regulation ended with an Akron miss to send us to overtime. The touchdown can win it for the Zips. Irons on the move again. Irons across the 15. Big run for the quarterback. Lorenzo Lingard, submarines ahead inside the 10. Here comes the blitz from the defensive back. Six up at the line of scrimmage. Irons runs the option, pitches it outside, and Lingard shot down. See the ball in DJ Irons' hands. Game on the line, it's Lingard stumbling ahead. And he is short of the line to gain. For the tie, Dante Jackson sends this to triple overtime. Irons empties out and calls Anderson into the backfield on this two-point conversion try in triple overtime. Irons to throw. Irons running away from Carr. A flag comes out, and it's thrown out of the back of the end zone. The defense Holy gets it. Offense, number 76. The penalty is declined. The try is no good. Taven Jackson named the starting quarterback last week with a chance to win it. Jackson with time. Jackson has it. No team and intercepted. So Jackson motions out. The former high school quarterback, McCauley, running a reverse. Jackson to throw. Completes it for the two-point try. Irons given time. And it's incomplete. Rizzelli. 